Welcome to another edition of Underdogs Unite. I am your host, Eric the Underdog. This is a show where we bring on people who refuse to quit. They believe in themselves enough to fight, to get up off the mat and believe they can make a difference in the world. And I'm so proud to be joined by people who have lived that out. And today, I am proud to have Eric Yarley. Brother, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, you know, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Coach Freeborn because he spoke so highly of you. And of course, I've rooted for you for years. Wish you were still on the Cubs. <laughs> but I'm so glad that you're living the dream in Major League Baseball. And you are a testimony to what it means to be an underdog. So I want to start out with who you are as a person. So you grew up in Washington State. So tell us a little bit first about what do you believe an underdog is and why do you believe in it? That's a extreme question that I could probably go on for a long time about but uh you're right grew up in eastern Wa or Washington State specifically eastern Washington so not Seattle not any of the bigger programs to to really drive the uh the draft picks and big league guys that you see these days um you know played three sports uh, coming up wasn't just always on draft radars or college radars um Really only went to Division One Seattle University um, because they were a new program. They needed a guy. At the time, I, could, I was an infielder who could pitch, and so I could kind of fill both roles. We had, uh, I want to say, six and a half scholarships for a Division One program that was starting. So they were looking for anybody who could kind of fill roles, um, you know, weren't weren't going to ask for a ton of money to come to the school, even though it's, a, it's an expensive private school um, and uh, took a chance with me and I hadn't had any other calls. I was planning on following my brother's footsteps and going to a community college over in Eastern Washington, most likely. And um, so I went to college and, uh, you know, wasn't ever planning on playing professional baseball, just kind of kept going and, um, they dropped me down to my current arm slot between my sophomore and junior year. And then next thing I know, 10 years later, we're going to our 10th spring training and we're still playing baseball. So, I mean, it's all kind of crazy and none of it was ever planned. Um, you know, none of it was ever really foreseen per se, you know, you, you, you go to college or you see all these guys that are, they're supposed to be professional baseball players. They're supposed to be big leaguers. That wasn't me. Um, I was fifth, sixth, seventh guy on our high school teams, on our little league teams. Like, just never really the guy. Just kind of always showed up, did what I was supposed to. Um, and like I said, next thing you know, I'll be I'll be participating in my tenth spring training. So that's four years of college and ten years of professional. So fourteen years of upper level baseball. That I don't remember what the percentages are, but not a lot of people get to do so kind of a roundabout way of, of answering your question of who I am and, and what I think an underdog is, but uh, you know, we, we just kept going and now we're here. So trying to pass on the message, I guess. 